Good evening, Brendan. Information contained in those documents indicates that the state may have found its star witness. But tonight, the Hiccup Girls attorneys tells us that basically the state should have done some more checking on who they were getting their information from. Attorney John Trevina said documents containing allegations that the now infamous Hiccup Girl was the mastermind behind the robbery of a young man who ended up dead is ridiculous. I'm tempted to allow the media to sit with her for 15 minutes and, and come away from that conference and say, this is a mastermind, this person couldn't mastermind their way through a grocery list. That's because Jennifer Mee has the mental capacity of a 12-year-old, according to her family. Trevina told us the real mastermind is this girl, Jennifer Sharon. I think the police here bought into a story very early in the case without really checking thoroughly uh, who they were getting the information from. At 21, Sharon's been arrested four times. She's the girlfriend of Laron Rayford, Mee's co-defendant there on the right. Records say Sharon told investigators that it was me who thought of using the internet to lure Griffin to a vacant apartment, offer to sell him some pot only to rob him and split the money three ways. But Shannon fought back. He was shot four times and died. One of the culpable parties has gotten off scot-free and has had no charges brought against her, uh, yet the independent objective evidence shows that she's the most culpable. Trevina said me isn't denying she played a role in this twisted plot that went terribly wrong. But to suggest she is the brains behind it all is ludicrous. She's not capable of doing those kinds of things. She just doesn't have the level of sophistication you would need to put together that kind of a plot. Now, Trevina also mentioned that basically his thoughts on this were that her celebrity in this case have not helped her in this case at all. He also mentioned that she is a, a victim of domestic violence and was very much afraid of her co-defendants and was basically doing what she was told. We're live in Clearwater tonight. Rebecca Medina, ABC Action News.